My, 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 my. Hi guys, doing this is Hero of None for 818 2018, showing what's on the golden merchant and luxury merchant today, as well as giving you some ESO news. Uh, our overlay is a little bit jacked today because my kids managed to destroy our regular stream PC and I'm solo streaming tonight uh, on a single box. Uh, but hey, we're gonna still get through it here. Uh, in addition to that, this section that we've been doing on YouTube for a little while, I'm considering changing it over a little bit and maybe calling it the Mundus Minute or something else like that. I don't know, give me an idea down in the comments below and we'll see what we're gonna call it. But anyways, let's get ourselves into it and take a look at some of the items coming up in ESO uh, for your luxury stuff, your golden merchant and some news along the way. So first on the luxury merchant tonight, Blue Crystal Spire, kind of a big blue uh, stone here. Another large spire. A blue flame brazier. Lit, unlit, lights on, lights off. Soul gem, great, filled, unfilled. Really not that much different or great compared to last week. Uh, Probably say the only thing that's really worthwhile is the blue crystal spires here, which are kind of nice to use in like certain big mega builds. I've seen some amazing stuff made with these. The brazier though, the soul gem though, you could probably skip that, especially for the price, like 5,000, 20,000. There's cheaper stuff you can get out there. Now on to the golden merchant and what we have available on the golden merchant today. Uh, for 2, uh, 250K, you have a, ne a necklace and Nicholas, so it's spell resistance, spell resistance, mass magicka, and when you block a, project a spell projectile, you have a 25% to reflect back, uh, reflect the spell back at the enemy. Really not that great of a item here. It's all RNG. The spell resistance kind of overcaps you on your resistances, and yeah, the, the blocking, I mean, maybe for a perm block build, but still, it's not enough to really warrant it, in my opinion. Uh, other one is Necklace of the Worm Cult. Spell damage, ma uh, Mass Magicka, Mass Magicka Recovery, and reduce the cost of your Magicka abilities by 4% to 11 other group members by 28 meters. Um, this one's actually a pretty important one here. Uh, if you're a healer or anything else like that, you should be running this. Um, if if you're not, you, well, you're probably having somebody else in your group do it, but definitely you want to be running this uh, for most Magicka Magicka healers, um, especially if you have Magicka DPS in the group, that's kind of like the, the standard at this point, along with Spell Power Cure. So yeah, definitely grab this if you're a healer. Again, 250k K for those. Now, Necklace of Fire, weapon damage, smash, smash, stamina, weapon critical, and when you deal weapon damage, you have 20% chance to do four, uh, 4k flame damage, and this can occur every two seconds. Really not a great um set in my opinion you're doing physical damage to do magicka damage you have a 20 percent chance so it's a really low proc chance and is limited by every two seconds not great unfortunately uh there's other sets to get better procs than this and even goes right through armor so yeah i probably would skip on that one uh and then senage necklace St stamina recovery weapon critical max stamina and when you roll dodge your weapon damage is increased by 4330 uh and your weapon critical ratings increased by 657 for five seconds this set is i think it's pretty good uh for certain builds uh one of the reasons being that if you're running a, a roll dodge build like say you're going with like eternal hunt or something like that this actually synergizes pretty well notice it has no cooldown to it it's easy to trigger it doesn't have any type of rng to it and I've seen some pretty good gank builds out there made using Senate set. It's kind of lost popularity in recent years, but I, I still think it's a one that you might want to take a look at if you're running that type of build. Now, just to give a few uh, other items here, uh, let's go take a look at the crown store real quick. Uh, first off, Lambert's pack, you have 11 days left. We've taken a look at this set before, but basically it's a nice set that gives a nice fire effect. And you can get that for 2,500 crowns. You can not only get this in the crown store, it's crown store exclusive. Eleanor Ringtail. Which is kind of creepy. I don't know, it, the, the eyes bother me a little bit. Uh, but it is only available for two more days. A Senich Cougar. Which isn't too bad. 
Um, but that, the price is kind of expensive at 2500 to be honest. Uh, the Wolf Hunter DLC came out as well. And inside that bundle pack, you can get a horse and a dog. Uh, for attire, you have Eleanor's attire here. Or Kinlord, uh, uh, Kinlord's attire here. Which I think it actually looks pretty good itself. And if you didn't get your chance to get flame astronaut crates last week, well, that's it. You only have Sigic crates available at this point. Now, the only th other thing that's coming up here that's interesting is they do have the fall autumn colors uh, for some of these. And I do like the way that a lot of these will look here. I think this one's a pretty good... Um, Pretty good selection here. You might want to take a look at it as well. It also kind of gives a hint at the uh, upcoming events. Festival of the Bears and all this other stuff, which they're going to be coming up. Now, other news. Let's get into some of the stuff that's changed here in ESO and this last week. So first, Wolf Hunter DLC came out. We have a couple new... Uh, we have two new dungeons inside there. Moon Key... Uh, was it Moon... March to it? Uh, <laughs> I know one is March of Sacrifices. The other one is up here. Uh, Moon Hunter Keep. That's what I was trying to remember. Uh, but yes, you can go there and get into that dungeon, or you can get into the other one somewhere around here. I can never remember where they put it. Oh, yes, here it is. Uh, March of Sacrifices down here in Green Shade. Now, this comes with two new dungeons. They do have some bugs to it. Uh, it is... We just finished up uh, March of Sacrifices the other night. There is a bug where you can get a bleed on you when the boss switches into when the final boss switches his phases. That will increase damage and just absolutely wreck you when it happens. Um, there's no way to fix that. It's kind of RNG when it does happen. If you don't, if you have the bleed on, you're probably going to die. They are coming with a fix on Monday, but hey, there is a saving grace to it that this week for some reason there's another bug that if you complete it and you kill everything in the dungeon you do get no death so it is kind of nice to get in there right now and do those dungeons it's kind of like i almost want to call it a, like a beta test feature <laughs> you fit complete this week even with the bugs you get no death which is kind of hard to do in some of the dlc dungeons so do try to get yourself in there there are some new dungeon helms and sets that also work pretty well as well now uh, next week also if you're looking at some of these changes that are coming out and you're looking for a respec wait till next week after monday you're getting a one gold respec next week that's going to save like some crazy amount of gold but it's going to be one gold to respec so just hold off wait a little bit and do that now where you want to spend your points well it depends on you but we have a few changes a lot of balance changes to the different classes but one of the most important changes was the werewolf uh, skill line got a total overhaul and has a lot of new features to it uh you're able to like you're able to res inside of rare wolf now you're able to use siege you're able to do a whole lot more than you could previously when you were locked into that werewolf mode uh in addition it sounds kind of silly but you may want to consider getting some alchemy stuff um especially keen eye now because clams will show up and why that's important is because if you travel along the coast of alador or sorry somerset as you're going along there you'll see those clams and you get clam gall clam gall sells for a crap ton uh I see people usually spending like 10k on that stuff. So put that extra passive point in there, find that clam gall, sell it off, it'd be a good amount of money for you new new players. Uh, in addition to that, we have new battleground motifs that came out. Uh, you have to actually play the battlegrounds to do it, uh, but you get different motif pieces for depending on what you do. So pit, but pit demons get, I believe, or pit, pit oh, sorry, pit demon motif, I believe, is inside team deathmatch. Uh, Flame Drake, which is the uh, red one, is uh, I want to say Domination and Crazy King, and then Storm Lords is inside of uh, was it Capture the Relic and hmm, Chaos Ball. Yes, that's it. So go ahead and Battlegrounds and get some of that. And they also have a new Battleground map that came out with that as well. Uh, new new class representative notes is up as well under the class mechanics of the forms and oh yes uh one other thing that's just not really news but kind of like 
gossip, I guess you want to say. Uh, they have a few new NPCs and a few new areas added as part of this patch. These are not open yet. We don't know what they're going to be doing yet, but this is part of the new, this is supposedly coming up with a new event that's coming up here in a little while. I don't believe this is Merkmeyer just yet, but like I said, there's some stuff here that's kind of interesting. Time will tell what it actually is, but hey, you guys can see it for your first time here inside of yeah, so if you're lucky enough and you explore enough to find those people. Anyways, that's Hero of None. That's what we're probably going to be calling the Mundus Minute from now on. And hope you enjoyed. Meow, meow, meow.